Hey, hey guys, it's Dee Spur here, and I am a little bit north of Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm coming to you live. Hello, hello. Please comment below if you've been with me before. If you've been on my videos, put a number two down in the comments. If this is your first time visiting, go ahead and put a number one, and thank you for tuning in. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick and bring to your attention you have 91 days left until 2020. 91, okay? So you need to do something. So what I'm gonna talk to you today about is your goals and um, helping you reach your goals that um, are necessary for you to um, get to where you wanna be. So let's discuss this. I have three tips that I wanna share with you of how I can help you make it easier to reach those goals because I know sometimes this can be challenging. So let's start off with those tips. But before I do that, I wanna say hello and thanks for joining me here on this video. And if you don't mind, go ahead and push the little share button in the corner and that way others can also catch this video. And if you're on the replay, go ahead and put replay in the comments. All right, so let's talk about your goals. So the first step you need to do to make sure you're on track with your goals is you need to write it down, okay? So sometimes, and I know I'm this way, if I write something down, I'm going to remember it better and I'm going to actually go after it. Um, if I don't write something down, it's then just a thought that kind of goes through my head really quick and I forget about it and it's over. So if I write it down, I don't care if it's on a post-it, a piece of paper, and then you pin that to somewhere on your computer, your desk, or on your refrigerator where you see it every day. You can even um, put it on your phone. Then you have um, it written down and that is step number one because that's going to make it easier because you can always go to that note that you wrote down and look and see hey what is my goal okay so that's tip number one number two what you need to do so you just wrote it down right now you have to take action if you don't take action nothing's going to change right so let's say that you wrote it down now you need action so you need to come up with a plan a daily plan how are you going to take action what are you going to do so sometimes people create daily method of operation and that's just a way of writing it down on a piece of paper and checking it off as you go so that makes things easier to achieve and you can go to that action plan or go to your phone and check it out and see what you need to do because in order for you to reach your goal you're going to have to take action every day be consistent and no matter what happens what obstacle gets in your way you're going to have to keep going after that plan okay the third thing which i love is you need to tell someone your goal Talk about it, share it, tell your family, tell your children, your husband, your wife, your partner at your gym or your girlfriend, whatever it is, you need to talk to them about your goals. So you're probably wondering why. Well, that person can help you stay accountable and sometimes goals are reached you know, quicker as when we have an accountability partner, right? So when you have that partner, you can talk to them every day you can you know go to them if you're struggling and they can actually look at you and say hey did you do your action plan today what did you write down are you following the steps that you need to reach your goals now guys these goals you know can be anywhere or anything they can be from losing weight they can be from a career change job change it could be a mindset goal um, what i do suggest is you do not make your goals too big sometimes when you make your goal too big it becomes more difficult to reach that goal so i'm of course you know i help with weight loss i do some training at the gym so i'm always discussing goals with the girls and so when it comes to weight loss you don't want to say hey i want to lose 100 pounds you have to 
break it down a little bit more to where you say, hey, I want to lose this every week or this every two weeks. So when you break it down to a smaller goal, it becomes easier because those goals that are kind of far-fetched, unfortunately, we forget about them or we get lazy or life kind of happens, right? So it's just so important to create little goals. Sometimes you hear me calling these habits because I believe if you make one change every week, then over time, over three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, you start seeing um, results. And once you start seeing results, then you know you're closer to your goal. So I mainly wanted to come on here and just say you have 91 days left. Don't let those 90 ones, I know holidays get in the way and um, life happens and the weather changes, so we have to work hard at keeping our mood up. So just make sure that you're writing your goal down, write it down, first tip, write it down somewhere on a piece of paper, write it down, and then pin it somewhere where you can see it. Again, computer, wall, once you pin it, you've got to take your daily action, everyday consistency, and then speak with someone. Talk to a friend, talk to your accountability partner, make sure you tell them, hold me accountable, make sure I'm doing what I need to do every day so I reach my goal by the end of the year. That way, you are ready, 2020, to start the new year, because if you start now, you're going to feel great on January 1st, right? Thank you guys again. Please, if you don't mind, push the little share button and share this with others. That way they can know how to reach their goals. Talk to you soon. Bye.